Turnbow celebration. Most. Well, hi, my name is Eve Floor. I'm the editor in chief of my school newspaper. Okay. I'm Lily the North, and I'm currently a journalism intern for the Jenna Club. Okay, perfect, perfect. Nice to meet you, Eve. Nice to meet you. Yeah. And who are you? Okay, my name is uh, Cedric Williams, uh, Kansas City native, born and raised. Um, I'm a digital marketer. Uh, I went to Baker University, graduated from Grandview High School. Um, after I, uh, to graduate from my university, um, I studied uh, business management, marketing, accounting. Just wanted to learn the full business sphere. I didn't know like what type of business I wanted to go into. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, as growing up as a kid, you know, I was cutting grass, selling candy door to door, like like most you know young entrepreneurs. But I wanted to learn the business side, like the real like book side. You know, I knew about you know street business, but I wanted to learn the you know uh, corporate. You know, so. I went, I went and studied business management, triple major, and uh, at, to graduate from my university, you have to do a, um, you have to do a, um, a, a internship, mm -hmm. right? Sort of similar to what you're yeah. doing right now, you right? So I had to do an internship to graduate from my university, from my college university. And my internship was to do the digital marketing for my university, right? So I was doing their social media marketing, and then I realized that they didn't really know much about social media. Mm -hmm. my, my own university, you know, who's teaching me, don't you know know much about social media so I'm like you know maybe there's a lot of other people out there who needs help yeah. with their marketing so um so I'm doing what my peers are doing uh, I'm uh, you know interviewing at jobs and stuff like that like either I'm gonna be like working accounting or working in investments or like maybe insurance or something like that and then I'm like this just isn't my passion like this just wasn't my passion so straight out of college I went and started my own business like day one out of college and um, uh, my very first client was paying me 50 bucks a month. I'm like, oh my gosh, what am I doing? What am I doing? I got a student debt I got to take care of. You know, I could be making $5,000 a month straight out of college. But I took, start my own business to make $50 a month. So, so um, but I just stuck with it day in and day out. And um, that was six years ago. And now we've represented over 250 businesses in 12 different states. So we represented uh, restaurants, uh, nonprofits, lawyers, politicians, one of the largest karate dojos in America, Albuquerque, New Mexico. So they would pay for me to fly out there, take care of my rental car, hotel, you know, and I would come out there, I make videos for them, I upload it, you know, to their social media. So that's what I do. I'm a I'm a digital marketer. So we build websites, we create videos, you know, we fly drones, we got 360 cameras. Uh, and then we upload it, you know, to their Facebook, Instagram, YouTube page, create those TikTok, you know, create any of those platforms that they don't have. And then, so that's, that's the main thing. That's who I am a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're doing right now. We're setting up a TikTok for the Jenna Club right now. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, that's, and another passion that I have is teaching young kids, young people about social media and like, yeah. you know, marketing, social media marketing that, you know, we were born with a phone in our hand, you know what I mean? But there's people out here who are 50 years old, 60 years old. There's some people like 30 years, don't, don't, don't even know how to use their own phone. You see, so they would literally pay us to do what we've been, you know, doing our whole lives. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So that's what makes it so great. Like how you guys set up the camera, how you go through social media. We can use that same power that we've been, that we've grown up with to help people who have money, who have assets, you know, and things like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Perfect. What, is, what is your business? So the name of my business is Evolving Digital Media. And uh, the reason I named it Evolving Digital Media is because um, in technology, everything evolves. They say every technology doubles every two and a half years. Okay, so whatever is the smartest piece of technology we have, it's going to double in two and a half years. And it's been doing that ever since we've been creating technology. So, so and my logo is an old rotary phone. You guys know what a rotary phone? Where you gotta like put your finger in there to get each number. That was the original phone, but now this is, a phone now, you see, and we see how that evolved in such a short amount of time. That's what I try to help my businesses do. I try to help them like evolve, right? So some of my some of my clients they're not using like Facebook or they don't even have a website or they don't have e-commerce or stuff. I come in and I help them evolve, you know, to get to that level they want to. What does a day at your job look like? So a day a day of my job um, usually wake up you know get my coffee uh, just go in and I usually go and I just check the notification that's usually my first thing just because you know 
anything can happen. The internet is on 24 seven, you know what I mean? So at any time, you know, one of my clients could get a bad review, uh, you know, one of the videos that I posted can go viral, you know what I mean? So like, I'm always, I wake up first, I check my notifications, and then I have a to-do list of like, content that I have to work on, you know, mm -hmm. for clients through, throughout that day. I, you know, work on that content, and then I also have a list of content that I need to publish. So it's creating the content, you know, it's publishing the content, and then it's also creating, you know, different platforms. So maybe I have to work on someone's website or build somebody a, a TikTok page, an Instagram account, something like that. And then I, and then that's pretty much about it. And then that's behind the computer, right? And then yeah. the other half of it is actually out there in the field, right? So sometimes my clients might have an event or they might be doing like a photo shoot or something or have a new product that they want to release. Then I got to go to that location and I record that content with whatever equipment I have and then, you know, take it back and just repeat the process. Yeah, yeah, cool. yeah perfect. Um, so do you create like social media, like publishing plans for them? Like how do you create a good social media plan? Right, so we always say each business is different, right? Each person has their different, you know, needs. So we don't want to ever cookie cutter, you know, yeah. each, you know, makes each business is the same, right? So there's there's different plans for whichever type of business, right? So for example, um, I got a client who's an event planner, or event promoter, and they do they do a show every single month on the first Saturday of every month, right? Well, we have a sort of a process. All right, we have a we have a flyer that we release. We create an, an, an event page. We make sure we update the tickets on the website so that people can go and purchase tickets. Mm -hmm. uh, then we start releasing videos uh, about the previous event that we had, and then um, you know we we go out and we create flyers for each host or each guest that's part of the event also. So you see, so each yeah. each client has a different plan, a different social media plan. You see, so but 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 usually the way that I do it to create, to figure out what plan they need, is first I ask them what, what are their goals? Yeah. You see, because that's the best thing is when you go to a business, what, what are you trying to do? Because what I, what I do is I help you accomplish those goals, right? So you tell me where you're trying to get, and then I create a strategy to get there. Yeah, yes, sure. perfect. And then also I've heard things about like posting, does posting at a certain time of day matter like in the corporate world? Yes. Yeah, so, Social, this, your social media analytics will actually tell you when to publish. They'll tell you when your audience is online. But there's no, it's always evolving, it's always changing, yeah. right? So some, some, some experts will say, you wanna post when everyone's online. Well then your content could get pushed down to the bottom yeah. of the timeline, right? Some people say if you publish when no one's online, it almost guarantees you you're at the top of their timeline. So I always think about it as like a hamster wheel, okay? Mm -hmm. You're only gonna get so far down that wheel before you go to another app, yes. right? So what the social media platforms do is try to push all the engaging, all the exciting, all the content that's getting the most watch time to the top. You see, because their job is to keep you on that app for as long as possible. But if they see, if Facebook, if YouTube sees that nobody's watching your video to the end, Nobody's engaging with it. Then it gets pushed to the bottom. Exactly. No one sees it. Exactly. Yes. You see what I'm saying? So that's the algorithm is always changing. You just always have to. You just got to keep playing with it and stay vigilant. You know, and that's that's where you go with your. You know, you learn about SEO. There's SEO, search engine optimization. What that means is when somebody goes and searches on Google. For example, let's say we go to Google and we say the best journalist in Kansas City. <laughs> and you want to pop up, right? Yeah. You want to be ranked up there as the best journalist in Kansas City. Well, start creating content with those type of tags, with those type of titles, yes. with, the, with the website, bestjournalistinkansascity.com. Mm -hmm. And you guarantee that anybody that searches best journalist in Kansas City, yeah. you'll pop up to the top. It's not necessarily be because that you have the most experience. Exactly, because it's because you affected the search engine optimization. Exactly, don't trust, don't trust them because people can, people can manipulate them. You know, and that's what I do as a marketer, where my goal is to make you look at this restaurant instead of this restaurant. Yes. You know, this nonprofit instead of this not, this business over this business. That's my job, you know, so, yeah. and I, I love it. <laughs> How does marketing to like adults differ from marketing to like teens? Marketing adults versus teens, what we say is everybody has their platform, okay? So for example, you know, TikTok, 
for example. Yes. Okay, that is a platform that kids use, you know, generally. What we usually said is that that was a platform for 13-year-old girls, okay? Yeah. But these platforms evolve, okay? So mm -hmm. think about this. When Mark Zuckerberg created Facebook, do you know who he created it for? Uh, younger people. College students. Yeah. It was only for college students. If you wanted a Facebook, you had to have a college email. You had to to sign up, right? I think I saw that somewhere. Yeah, so he only made it for college But now, who's it's Facebook for? 40-year-old women. <laughs> you know, 50-year-old, 60-year-old men. Oh, man. You know, everybody. But now, and Instagram went through that same phase. It was for young people. But now they say it's for 40-year-old women. You see? Yeah. Instagram is for the, you know, now TikTok is going through that same change. Where now your mom is on TikTok, right? <laughs> now you're, My they're... mom's not. It's good, it's good to stay that way. <laughs> so yeah, now we're just seeing older people, you know. So so it's always can evolve, but we yeah. always just got to be looking for the newest platform. That's why I love talking to young people because that's the future. You know, whether we like it or not, you guys are going to run this. You know, you guys have, you know, the buying power. You guys set the trend as the young people. So that's what I try to do in marketing is try to see what you guys are doing, and then that also helps me and my business also. It's also always about evolution. Yeah. And since it's a constantly like evolving mm -hmm. online space, how do you learn and pick up new skills since you need to so often? Right. It's, um, I got a thing where you know people are like, oh, he stole my idea. Or, you know, people always say that type of stuff, yeah. right? But what I call it is remixing. You know, you listen to a song, somebody remix it, somebody sample it. That's a good thing. They're making it even better. You know, like... Yeah, and it's spreading your... It's like free advertising. It's creating your brand, yeah. putting your brand up there even more, right? So what I try to do is I try to remix other people's content. Mm -hmm. What I see with somebody doing, I like what they're doing. I'm going to try to do it better. Because that's how innovation happens. Yeah. You see, like, we didn't create anything that we see here. We didn't build this building. We didn't create that camera. We didn't even create the language that we're speaking. Yeah. You see, we got that from another human, and we keep building on that. That's, that's evolution. So, so that's what I try to do in my business. I see what people are doing, okay? You know, oh, a lot of people are doing animations. A lot of people are uh, creating uh, 3D video, 3D yeah. anime. I'm going to start doing that. Let me see if I can learn that. You see what I'm saying? And just yeah. always being open to try, you know, trying something new and just trying to figure out how to improve on it. You know, put your little flavor on top of it. And it makes it even a better meal for everybody. Where do you see, like, social media and business advertising going in the next 10 years or so? Okay, so from social media, virtual reality, right? You guys saw how Facebook changed their name to Meta. Right, meta, meta. So, when what that is is the world is going to augmented virtual reality. Okay, augmented reality is where I can put something virtual in the real world. Right. So there's a there's like apps on my phone where I can show you a 3D animation of something that we're creating and it'll show up on this table. You see, that's augmented reality. Virtual reality is where you know we put on some glasses or we put in contacts and we'll be in a whole nother you know, reality, a whole nother world. Yeah. So that's what I think it's really going to, is more emphasize on creating different realities for, you know, different people. Because when you can, when you can, and another thing, you got virtual reality, augmented reality, but then artificial intelligence. Artificial yes. intelligence, I use this in my business, right? Well, I'll give you an example. I can take this video right here, right? I put it in a, a software, it'll make the video for me. I don't even have to edit it. It'll cut the most important parts. It'll frame, it'll add an effect, it'll color it, and it'll put the words and captions up there. Okay. And I didn't even have to do anything. So think about how much content that I can publish, you know, just like, by uploading the raw footage. Yeah. You see, so there's a, there's a lot of artificial, and that's also artificial, basically, the system and the software is just doing it for, by itself, yeah. you see, yeah. What advice would you give to a business wanting to increase their social media engagement? Um, I always say the most important thing is the, the brand ambassadors, okay? Your brand ambassadors are, is the most important part of your business, okay? Because most people, when I see them start their business, they always want to highlight the CEO, the owner, the creator. It's me, it's me, it's me. It's like, yeah, it's you. You created it. But what does your product or service do for other people? How does it impact people? Let's highlight that. You see... For example, <clears throat> I work with a hair salon, and she was, you know, she was very, very popular. You know, a lot of people knew her. She was a, she was an image, you know. But 
one thing of, that she did was she she had a program where pe people, women who had cancer, who lost all their hair, could come in and get a wig, and it was part of their insurance. So they had no cost, but these wigs were like thousands of dollars. Yes. You see? <laughs> so they could come in and they would get a wig, part of their insurance, and their faces, when they looked in the mirror and saw that they had hair again, you know, after being like losing all their hair, think about how like stressful that process is, yeah. you know, and then to have that in automatic, you saw the difference. We published that over and over. Let's just show the impact that you had on these women and there's show a line, you know. Show the impact, not the beginning. Exactly, and showing, exactly, showing the uh, why. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, why are we doing this? Isn't we okay? You make wigs, but what do your wigs do? <laughs> you see what yeah. I'm saying? So that was the that was the best thing is just highlight your customers, highlight your employees, highlight your brand ambassadors. Because mm -hmm. I have a philosophy that I stand by: every client should get you three clients. Okay, that's why I've worked able to work with over 250 businesses in less than six years. Because every client got me three clients, and it grows exponentially. Mm -hmm. Right, so one client gets you three clients, three clients get you nine clients. You see what I'm saying? And it keeps going over and over and over again. You see, so that's the, and the way you do that is doing the right thing. Doing the right thing is always the right thing, okay? Mm -hmm. So when you do right by your clients and you take care of them, then, you know, they'll make sure they'll tell other people about you. They tell other people about you, then you get to work with them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then what advice would you give to a young person wanting to go into the social media marketing industry? It's just get started get started. Like I said, my very first client was paying me 50 bucks a month. It was my high school friend. He was a barber. And I'm like, come on, you got to pay me something. <laughs> you know, what I mean? you got to pay me something. Like, and, but I knew every person I sat in his chair while I recorded them was a potential client. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So everybody that sat in his chair, what do you do? Oh, I'm a social media marketer. I do videos. I help people. Can I get your card? Yeah, here goes my card. So I knew that $50, that next person I charged was $100 a month. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? It kept going. Now, I'll, I'll be full transparent for you, with you guys. My, the cheapest that I'll help a client with is sometimes this is an individual, like just one person. Let's say like a rapper. You know, sometimes a rapper yeah. want help with their marketing. You know, they want videos. They want, you know, putting my music out there. All right, bet. $250 a month. That's the minimum. Right, but let's say we got a big client, like a corporation, or like a, a client that makes you know millions of dollars. I have worked with a client that made eight million dollars a year. You know, we got a, one of the biggest churches in Missouri. Also, they work with it's right across the street from World of Fun. Like we'll charge him like close to like fifteen hundred, two thousand dollars a month. So automatically, no matter what, they make sure that on that day their monthly their their payment is in. Mm -hmm. You see, so we work by some what we call retainer. We're on a retainer. So when clients work with us, they pay us on a monthly monthly payment, right? But if you were just getting started, just start, okay? Just start. When I, when I was in college, my last year of college, I made a video every day for a whole year. Publish it to YouTube. Every day, I'll be able to, all right, every day, like if I was still doing my vlog, I would record you guys, like, all right, this is what I did today. You know what I mean? I would edit it. And then I will, I will publish it to my YouTube channel. Some days, I got zero views, you know? But it, it got me like, all right, how do I manipulate the algorithm? How do I change, how do I mess with the thumbnail? How do I change the title? How do I put more tags in there? But I did it for 365 days, you see? So when I, once I got done doing that for a whole year, I was like, I could take anybody's video, anybody's platform, and grow it up. Because if I was able to take, nobody knew about my channel and I did that in one year with just mine, just like recording my life, I can take at somebody who's selling a pair of shoes and make people, you know, see their yeah. shoes. You see what I'm saying? So even if you don't start, maybe it's your friend that they need help with their marketing. Maybe it's you. Do a vlog just about your life. Edit videos. Publish them. Just try to manipulate the algorithm to see what people like, what people want to watch. You see what I'm saying? What, what is it the effects? Or like, well, one thing I learned, the first seven seconds of the video is the most important, right? Because you're competing with so much content and you don't want people to do this. You want people to stop, right? So if you don't put that first seven seconds, you don't capture them, like what's going to stop them from keep scrolling?
You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's the type of things that I learned. And you gotta learn that. You gotta go out there and you gotta experiment for you to learn that. Then you know you'll be you'll be more of an expert. You know, but young kids know about more about social media than I do. You know what I mean? That's because you guys were you guys more you know in case involved in it more than I am. You see, but what I try to do is like, look, if you use those same expertise that you just have just from being born in the time that you're born and partner that with people who have assets, money, cars, you know, everything that you want that, right? Eventually, right? You want to have a, you want to have a big house, you want to have a family, you want to take care of your family. Well, they have those assets, but they don't know who we know. You see, that's why we create, we can create a great, you know, uh, team. And then they're, they're, they make sure they pay you, and then you give them the information that you have, that you're going with. Just mutually benefit from relationship. Exactly, exactly, straight up. But once you realize the power that you have, that's the only thing, is I see young people, and they use social media to just be messy, you know, talk about girls, get girl like, it's not just about that, you know what I mean? There's, you can help people accomplish their dreams, you can help people make money, you know, you can make money for yourself too. Also, if you just change your the way of thinking about social media. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anything else you want to add about your career or your life or anything? So um, no, I think I'm good. I, I really, I really appreciate you guys. Uh, what do you guys, what do you guys want to be if you, if you guys don't mind me asking you? So you want to be a journalist, right? So what's um, your, what's your maybe. goal? Okay. I don't know. I'm interested in like film and TV, and if I want to break into the industry, if I can. So okay, okay. Let's see if journalism goes along with it. Uh, what's your, what's your, uh, like, uh, roadmap? What do you see? So you're about to graduate? Yeah, I'm going to graduate next year. Okay, so you're going to graduate next year? University? Yeah. Okay, so you're thinking about going to university? Yeah. Okay, do you know which one that you're looking at? Or? Drake in Des Moines. Drake, okay. Yeah. Um, I had a friend that went to Drake, too, and he got a football scholarship. Yeah, it's, it's a very good school, It's too. a good school. It's yeah. small, and I like it. Okay, all right, perfect. Yeah, that's dope. That's dope. Do you yeah. know what you're going to study at? Um, I'm looking at a couple majors. Um, they don't have a film one, but I could like build my own or something. So okay, that's it's perfect. A small college. So all right, I good luck. You got it. You're gonna be yeah. go. You're gonna be golden. I, I see it already. All right, what about you? Go? Uh, I probably want to be broadcasting. You know, okay. Okay, Mizzou has one of the best journalism schools, you know, in America. Yeah, for sure. So, so yeah, so you want to go into creating content? Do, do you edit yet? Uh, I can edit. I really like to go, like, behind the scenes and like, do some mm, graphics. This is so, okay, okay. So, so what do you edit with? What, what software? Uh, Premiere. Premiere, okay. No, that's one of the best ones, for sure. So, yeah, so just get out there and just start creating content. And um, do you, have you seen uh, Channel 5? You guys see Channel 5? It's YouTube, YouTube channel. Maybe. Like news channel? No, it's a it's Andrew Gallagher. Gallagher. He's like a channel five. Well basically he created his own like news channel. You know, and he would go to like festivals and he would just go out there with him and his friends and they would record it. And then they record, they put it on YouTube, and it's the funniest, the best stuff ever. And now he has his own new channel and he like it used to be called All Gas No Breaks. Never heard of that one? Yeah, I'll, I'll look it up later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys should definitely check that out. But yeah, it's just really funny. But like, get started. You know what I mean? You can start your own news channel. Like, that's what you guys are doing right here, right now. You know what I mean? What about you, brother? Um, I want to be a 3D model and animator for a video game company. Mmm, that's dope. Have you started uh, using any animation software? Or? Um, a little bit. I'm learning Blender right now. Just about to say that Blender, perfect. So you're bringing up your YouTube YouTube tutorials, and then yeah. okay, perfect. What yeah. I do is I, I bring it up on one screen. I I create uh, animations on Blender also. So I bring up my YouTube uh, videos right here, and I'm using Blender right here, and I'm press pause, and then I'm doing everything is doing, and I'm pressing play, okay, and I'm doing it as the tutorial is doing it. Yeah, All right. yeah, I have a two monitor setup. Exactly, it's perfect, perfect. So yeah, do that. Blender, that's the stuff, bro. That's definitely, you know, um, another thing I would encourage you guys to get into is uh, coding, okay? I know it might sound, like, difficult, like, oh, it's like, you see the ones like a computer hacker on a movie? Like, it's not really like that, all right? It's not really like that, okay? It's really, really simple. But what's, what's even more dope is um, they have free classes online, okay? You can make $120,000 as a beginner. $80,000 as a beginner. You see, so most $80,000 a year, that's a lot, a lot of money. 
You see, for somebody straight out of college. Somebody, you don't even need a college degree. You see what I'm saying? So you can, and, and what's so crazy is Google, Meta, Facebook Meta, and um, a few other, there's a SV Academy, there's a few other platforms who will teach you for free, right? So you can literally be at home, learn how to code, and then just for fun, and then automatically you can get hired right away making, you know, bank. And you can do that anywhere. You can be on a beach in Florida, coding a computer, bro, and then they'll take everything's taken care of. You see, so that's the future right there. Mm -hmm. If I could go back, I would learn that like crazy. You no, know, yeah, my school has a um, 3D modeling and, and game design course, so I'm mm. taking those next year. That's what's up. Heck yeah, bro. And coding, that's the, that's the thing. Like, if, just to do on the side, because you know, robot is going to replace everyone's jobs, right? We know that's the future, right? So let's program the robots. <laughs> and we will always have a job. You see what I'm mean? saying? We will always have a way to make a living because somebody needs to tell the computers what to do. Yeah. So that will be our jobs, right? All right, what about you, Brian? Um, well, for the Gen Club, I'm marketing and social media, but I think what I want to pursue in like, the future is uh, being a detective. Okay. Yeah. Getting the law enforcement, criminal justice? Yeah. Okay, okay. This is how, what's, what's your plan look like? What are you about to graduate next year? Uh, no, I'm a sophomore right now. Okay, so you're a sophomore. So you got some time to figure it out. <laughs> you got some time to figure it out. I mean, I've been thinking about being a detective for like a very long time. Ago. Okay, okay. My um, my my best friend in high school is a cop, and um, and he worked for Kansas City Police Department. He went to uh, UCM and UCM, uh, you know, University of Central Missouri. You know, uh, they have one of the best criminal justice. Uh, programs. A lot of, you know, cops, you know, go to that, you know, university because when you go to that university, then you get paid more if you just became a cop straight out of high school, you see. So if you go get a criminal justice degree, they will pay you, they have to pay you more if you just went and just became a cop straight out, you see. So that's something to also think about. You got to learn psychology. You got to learn about the way some, you know, study criminals and how they think and, you know, how to predict, you know, what they do and stuff like that. So, that's what's up, bro. <laughs> cool, all right, y'all, perfect. All right, my name is Cedric Williams. You can find my website at evolvingdigitalmedia.com on social media at evolvingdigitalmedia. For all they will,